Hello, and welcome to Classics. I'm Dr. Von Notfake. Join us today as we take a look into the early beginnings of literacy in early America. Join us as we look at Mesoamerica, the Mayan culture specifically, and their forms of literacy. Welcome to Classics. It's hard to imagine a world without the written word. A world where these written sentences would carry no meaning. A world where our billboards would confuse us more than they already do. A world without books, without scripts, without prescriptions, without an effective means of multi-generational communication. Luckily, this is not the world we were born into. We were born into a world well versed in the written word, so much so that it has found our way into almost every aspect of our daily lives. From the papers we read, to the contracts we sign, the written word carries a great deal of importance for us. Yet this wasn't always the case. So now as we face new frontiers in the course of human evolutions, we look back at how this all started. For it is an understanding our past that we can control our future. Out of the five independently developed writing systems in the known world, the only complete writing system in Mesoamerica was that of the Mayans. The first clearly identifiable Mayan scripts date back to around the 3rd century BC, and the Mayan script was used continuously until the time of the conquistadors. Mayan writing uses logograms, complemented by a set of syllabic glyphs, somewhat similar in function to modern Japanese writing. Mayan writing was called hieroglyphics by early European explorers of the 18th and 19th centuries, who did not understand it, but found its general appearance reminiscent of Egyptian hieroglyphs, to which, however, the Mayan writing system is not that similar. Tragically, in recent years, it has been very difficult to study Mayan writing because all of the Mayan writing on any form of paper has been destroyed, either by the conquerors or by the process of time. But luckily, stuck within their ceramics, on their walls, carved in stone or wood, or molded in stucco, are the symbols of the Mayans' writing. While we could talk about how the Mayan system is a combination of logographic and phonetic writing, and go in-depth as to how ancient scholars could spell words with signs representing whole words or individual sounds, let's look, more importantly, at who benefited from the writing. Who did the writing help? What was the writing made for? And why did humanity need to begin literacy? These are the important questions that one has to ask when looking at early formations of literacy, specifically in reference to the Mayans. As we can all tell from Mel Gibson's movie Apocalypto, the Mayans were a vicious and bloodthirsty people. While, of course, much of that is indeed Hollywood, there is a certain thread of truth. The Mayans did participate in human sacrifices, but there was an important part to the human sacrifices that perhaps is a bit more behind the scenes. You see, the Mayans were very ahead of their time in terms of astronomy. They knew a great deal about their environment, to even a point to where their numbers were far, far advanced as well. Today we still view the Mayan calendar with a sense of respect and of great interest into how a seemingly primitive society was able to write down and calculate the solstices and the lunar eclipses for thousands of years after their fall, even to the point to where many people worry about December 23rd, 2012, 
which is the date on which the Mayan calendar ends. But getting back to the human sacrifices. The sacrifices often aligned with some celestial important event, such as an eclipse. What this did was this allowed the priest and the preachers and the elite ruling class of the Mayan civilization to assert their connection to their gods and to their power. This kept a clear division between the classes. In fact, the knowledge of numbers and of astronomy was such a well-kept secret that people would die to protect it. The elites had the information. Yet while literacy was obviously kept, for the most part, for the elite ruling class, to some degree people were able to read. The pictorial symbols used in the Mayan writing had elements of universality, such as our symbols of the man and the woman outside of many restrooms today. Yet, as the Mayan civilization continued, these symbols became more abstract and less easy to define. But the ruling class did use symbols for the king and to tell of the king's glories that they put on monuments and on epithets, such that the people who were reading them or who were looking at them could to a degree understand who it was and whose possessions and whose power they were dealing with. Another bit of evidence to suggest that the Mayan text were in fact read more by the elite than by the people was the language in which they were written in. The Chioli language is the language of the elite in the Mayan culture, whereas the language of the Piatan and the Yucatan, especially Yutanic, was more a language of the commoner, of the people. Most of the Mayan writing had elements of the Chioti language, if not completely written in that language. As we come to a close with our show, we must look back upon the beginnings of Mayan literacy and literacy in Mesopotamia and see that independently it formed, much like in Samaria and in China. Literacy came about as an important part of a natural evolution of humanity. Each culture independently came up with this notion. And so now that our cultures have combined and our people have grown together into a global community, we must wait and see how the gift and powers of literacy carry us on into the next millennia and into the next stage of our progression as a species. <laughs>